Hello, my name is Johnny and I'm a tech degree apprentice at Goldman Sachs. I think the key benefit of doing a uh, apprenticeship over going to traditional university is that you really gain a uh, perspective from industry. Instead of just uh, learning knowledge from textbooks and classrooms, you get to actually apply them in the workplace, which I found is a great way to learn. Biggest learning from my apprenticeship is that I found that uh, software engineering is not just about coding and uh, being able to solve the problem. I think the, it, is, it is also key that you're able to work with people and uh, manage relationships with uh, different people on your team and um, with the rest of the company because at corporations, there's so many engineers working on the same project. So, um, you know, it, it is really important that you are able to uh, work with people. And I, think, I don't think that's a taught that, that can be taught from a textbook um, because I think soft skills like these you can only gain through, uh, through practice. The advice I give to people who are thinking of applying for an apprenticeship is uh, do your research on the uh, on different routes, so you know, traditional university versus apprenticeship uh, or degree apprenticeships. And then after drawing your, um, you know, your benefits and drawbacks for each, uh, go for the one that you think is right for you. To prepare for interviews and assessment days, I'd suggest uh, do your research. Definitely very important. Um, you know, if you find anything interesting about the company that you're applying to, definitely bring them up during your interview and uh, try to see if you have any experiences from your side which may resonate with those. Top tips to share is uh, if you're doing software engineering, I definitely recommend doing some uh, doing some personal projects during your free time. I think they're a great way to show uh, your uh, your interest in. Uh, software engineering and uh, they're also great things to talk about during the interview. I have faced uh, rejections before getting my current position and I think the best thing to do in this case uh, when you get rejected is to take it as a positive um, and improve upon your application based on your feedback for your next application um, because you know getting rejected doesn't necessarily mean you're not good enough um, good enough for the for the job it just it may just mean that you're not a good uh, fit for the for the culture of the company.